one, didn't you? How can If two people share one, their destinies become intertwined. They'll remain a part of each other's lives, no matter what. All right, all right, what's going on, people? What's up, what's up? What's happening, you guys? Testing, testing. One, two, three, four. <laughs> we are live, people. We are live. Streaming two days a week. After a heavy, heavy, heavy night of drinking, we back at it like a crack addict baby. What's going on, people? What's up, what's up? All righty, okay, I'm seeing the people in the chat pop up. We got the homie J Fam first. We got Rhino in the building. You're. We got Shed Lead. We got Yusuke Knight. Corey Gryffindor. Here we go. Yes, sir. Here we go again. Oh shit. Uh, we got Sharp. Where's Uncle Kingdom Hearts at? <laughs> we got Shay Thomas streaming. Damn near six hours is my power. Yo, I'm. I'm just saying, man. I can't believe it. we did that twice. We did that twice in the past month. We opened up the stream like for the month streaming for like almost six hours and then we ended the month streaming for almost six hours it's like poetry it rhymes you guys <laughs> ain't that crazy look at us matt c what's up my brother yeah we see you and hear you yes sir we got game guy z in the chat what's up overly critical anime kingdom hearts sucks though oh man it depends depends on what kingdom hearts game or not kingdom hearts kingdom hearts is that good shit very convoluted shit very cringy shit but that good shit <laughs> oh man but what's going on people how y'all doing oh <laughs> well your boy neo is alive as i'm sure y'all can see <laughs> last night was a fucking movie y'all last night was a movie we just like dude i still can't even i can't even bro i can't even begin to describe how much fun last night was if y'all was there you know it you know how lit that shit was. Uh, why is the chat not updating on my end? That is 
Very strange. Quite peculiar. Retro lad, hey Chris, saying a quick hello, then I'm going to sleep. All right, my brother. Take care, retro lad. Have a good one, bro. Appreciate you uh, stopping in. Okay. All righty. Uh, let's see. I'll, I'll go for like a couple more minutes before we get into the get uh, get into the game. I can't even can't even speak. Can't even formulate thoughts. <laughs> I guess I'm still recovering. Uh, Matt C says Square delayed the Android closed beta for Kingdom Hearts Missing Link. It was supposed to be in January. Well, it ain't a Kingdom Hearts game without delays. Yeah, that's a fact, bro. That is most definitely a fact. If a Kingdom Hearts game comes out on time, there is uh, something something horribly wrong. <laughs> As weird as that sounds. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, hopefully we hear something about Kingdom Hearts 4 this year. It's, it's time, bro. I need that. I need a trailer. I need a trailer for that. What, what's this? What, what is TV the human? I'm not seeing it on, on the YouTube chat. They might have held it for... Uh, they might have held the, the chat for... Um, I don't know. That's so weird. I, I didn't see it. But okay, now it popped up. I got my first hand job on my birthday. Oh, congratulations, man! <laughs> congratulations, bro. There you go. You got you got some you got some uh, birthday hand job. <laughs> Shout out to you, man. <laughs> yeah, we need some Kingdom Hearts news ASAP, bro. It's, it's it's dry out here in these streets. At the very least, I hope they put the games on Steam. They've been on the Epic Game Store for like three years now. And unless they have some crazy exclusivity, it's time, bro. Let me download my Kingdom Hearts games on my Steam Deck without doing 40 backflips, without trying to emulate it, without downloading different launchers. Come on, Square. If you want these games to sell more than five copies, please, please, just, just let me play Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix on the go. I just, I want that, bro. Square might be waiting for Rebirth to come out first. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they don't want to, they don't want to um, step on each other's toes. And then Dragon Quest, I don't even know what's happening there, man. <laughs> I don't even fucking know. Dragon Quest is just, like, existing. <laughs> You'll get more news for the side games and the spinoffs than that Dragon Quest uh, 12. <laughs> but alright, you guys. So, uh, we're having a later than late stream for this, this past week. So, you know, just to make up for lost time, we're just going to go ahead and dive straight into our lucky emblem adventure that we've been on for the past uh the past the past like stream or so i just got a notification from the playstation app what are they saying campaign completed february check-in oh was it if you played like a game in february or something i don't really keep up with all this stuff yeah i got a comic collectible our ancient rome robit well, there we go <laughs> but yes so for those who are joining us for the um very first time welcome 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 to uh another game stream uh the first game of the year that we are going to be streaming is kingdom hearts 3 as i'm sure you can see by the title um this is actually going to be a really interesting stream series um again if you haven't joined us uh it's not necessarily going to be us playing through the entire campaign because we've done that before um we're going to be going through and tackling some bosses so you can consider this like playing elden ring but kingdom hearts we're just going and tackling some of these uh data bass data bass wow data boss battles uh which are like basically all if you play kingdom hearts all the organization 13 members and then a secret boss as well so it should be a lot of fun but in order for us to get to that point we had to do some preparation work basically level up sora to 99 which we did and now we're just trying to uh spec the character where we can uh, go ahead and at least go into the battles as equipped as possible. Um, so we're grinding right now, collecting all the lucky emblems, so we can go ahead and get uh, the Oath Keeper Keyblade, which is, uh, from my understanding, a better alternative compared to the stuff I have now. We were thinking about doing the Ultima Weapon, but there's just so much busy work attached to it. We have to put in so many fucking hours, and it just it's... It's, it's not doable, so we're going to make do with what we can as far as, like, having Oath Keeper, and then if we can get just a shit ton of items and use that, we'll do that as well. Um, but, yeah, so where we left off, I believe it was mm, the Gummy Phone, the Lucky Emblems. So we finished last stream. We got all of the Lucky Emblems in Mount Olympus, so that's complete. 
and we still have a shit ton of other worlds to go. Um, you know, some of these have less lucky emblems than others. Some of them have more. You know, I think, yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean, that one has the most amount. And then Mount Olympus, so, you know, yeah. <laughs> so now we're going to go to Twilight Town, as we've already done four of them here. So if we can get at least Twilight Town and Toy Box over and done with tonight, I feel that would be a good, good place to start and stop. So Twilight Town, we've already got four here. So we're just going to uh, fast travel back over there. Go to the world map. And uh, yeah, I appreciate everybody joining the chat tonight. If you guys are enjoying the stream, make sure you hit that like button. It helps out the channel tremendously. I apologize that it's not going to be the most exciting streams by comparison to like Ask Neo or, you know, us fighting bosses. But we have to do the due diligence. We have to do the work, my friends. We've got to do the work. To get it done, we gotta eat our vegetables so we can have the dessert. And the dessert is Neo getting his ass kicked in Kingdom Hearts. So that should be a lot of fun. Yay. <laughs> um okay, so we're going to go to let's see. Um we're gonna embark. We're gonna go to Twilight Town. Twilight Town, yes sir. Uh, Corey Griffin says, I recommend Twilight Town next since the world is a bit small, followed by the Hunter Waker Woods. You can just enter and get the three emblems and leave without finishing the world. Oh, okay. That's a good idea. So we're going to do that, Corey. Leave it to the homie, Corey, to know the ins and outs of Kingdom Hearts 3. Also, how's everything sounding? The uh, audio and the video sound good? Um, the game is not overpowering my voice? Okay, so let me go ahead and find... These lucky emblems. Kingdom Hearts 3 lucky emblems. Because I remember we had a guide and we were looking at that stuff. <laughs> well, the game just zoomed in on Sora. Woo. Okay. So we're going to Twilight Town. All right, so let's see. I'll just put this right here. Um, so next to the tram, let's see. Do I already have this one? No. No. There we go. Okay. Oh. I'm definitely craving some ice cream as well. Uh, lucky emblems. Twilight Town. Okay, so we got that one. So that's the first one. So we only have five more. Okay. Neighborhood tram common. Stand on top of the moving tram and look at it. Look at its roof. So I got a... Okay. Uh, where was the tram? I know the tram was moving. Where the fuck is the tram? Am I too high up for the tram? Let's be honest, Kingdom Hearts 3 was not that great. It it wasn't as good as it should have been. Like, there's nothing fundamentally bad about the game. I mean, outside the story. But, what the fuck? What just happened? I didn't even do anything. Did I just not see Merlin in this world or something? What the hell? Ah, this is weird. I was legitimately so confused. I was just like, why did this go into a cutscene? Merlin, I thought that you asked us to stop by. Gracious, did I? <laughs> Bond says, what the fuck is this shit? Well, Bond, uh, that's that's Donald Duck on the right-hand side. Uh, the one in green is Goofy. Uh, that's That's Merlin. And that's his magic wand. And that's his book. Oh, this is the Hundred Acre shit. And now it's Winnie the fucking Pooh. Is that the Neo Game Spark? Bitch, it might be. Bitch, it might be. Oh, it's the Pooh cutscene. I, see, see, I didn't even do the Winnie the Pooh shit here. Now I was trying to make us do the Winnie the Pooh shit. 
You must have flown through this game on the first playthrough. Dude, I really did. I was like, I'm like, this story is not doing it for me. Let me finish this. I didn't do no 100 Acre Wood. I'm not, no, I don't want to go into the Pooh Bear world. You know what? I might have to go into the Pooh Bear world. I might have to go into there just to get the Lucky Emblem. Let's get this over and done with. This ain't legendary. Yo, man, on Bond, it's going to get legendary. Trust me on this, man. When we get to those boss fights, Bond, you're going to be like, damn. He's like, I, I I I was unfamiliar with your game. Nah, we good. We good, Thunderstrike. We chilling, man. You know, we doing the streams. And now we doing some uh some gaming. We got a subscriber challenge to play Kingdom Hearts 3, so you know. We're preparing ourselves for these bosses. Hundred acre wood, my god. Just take the picks and go. The mini games aren't that great. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna play with Winnie the Pooh, man. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Kerosene says, what do you think of Stellar Blade? I'm hoping it's going to be good, but I'm not fond of a female protagonist. You're not fond of Stellar Yams? How are you not fond of those yams, bro? Come on, those yams is hitting. But it looks good. I'm excited for it. I don't think I'm going to play it day one because it's just all the other RPGs I got to play. But I like it. I like what I see so far. In the words of Black Bond, Kingdom Hearts is Final Fantasy for babies. <laughs> now, that's, that's, that's a PG version of what Bond would say about Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> all right Pooh bear i'm good chief you in the public domain man let somebody else make a story out of this oh god i'm not collecting no rabbits rabbit's house where's the lucky emblem <laughs> xenoblade one that's a goat rpg right there great rpg great story all right 100 acre wood uh, upon entering the book, look to the right of the save point in the distance. You'll see a lucky emblem made of trees. Uh, lucky em... That thing over there? Bro, it, what the fuck is this thing? See, I'm not caught up on my Winnie the Pooh lore. Is that like a heffala hump or whatever it's called? A heffala hump? Jesus. I don't, I don't know, man. I... Corey Griffin, are you, you're the Winnie the Pooh. You're the Pooh Bear expert. I got a ribbon. Hey. So I did that one. Now I got to go to the pumpkin. They really don't want y'all to be playing this shit. They're like, here's the fucking emblems. Take them and leave. And then we have to go to Rabbit's house. Uh... Look at that. Look at that emblem. I don't know why there's an emblem in this fucking... <laughs> okay. Alright, we did it. We got all the emblems here. Yay. Da -da 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 -da. No, I don't want to talk to Pooh Bear. No. No offense, Pooh Bear, but full offense. Alright, 100 Acre Wood. We got him, guys. Da -da 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 no, it's just me? Okay. Bye, Pooh Bear. Uh, I'm going to save just in case. You never know what will happen, guys. How the fuck do I get out of here? Oh, I got to walk out, right? Yes, I want to leave the book. I want to leave the book behind. I don't even know what I'm saying. Lumpy the Heffala Hump. His name is Lumpy? What's the lore behind Lumpy, man? Was Lumpy really mad or sad and then he became our friend? Was it was it a good story, Matt? Would you rate it on Letterbox, bro? Uh Okay, so back to this. So back to the trams. Uh where the fuck is that moving tram? Oh, here it is. Yeah. This is it, right? What the fuck? It says it was a lucky emblem. Oh, there it is. Did I not get it? Struggle. Can you, like, let me take... Thank you. There we go. Okay, so we got that one, and now we have to do the other one. The very top of the Moogle shop. And look down on the other pillars on the roof. It's on top of here. The Moogle shop. The Moogle shop. Okay. When in doubt, just jump in the air. Uh, Moogle, Moogle shop. Okay, so it should be that over there.
top. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, I didn't watch Pooh's Heffalum movie. I have that Winnie the Pooh movie from 2011. That was good. I liked that one. Nope. Sora, stay up. Oh, Sora, if you don't... Ah! Ah! Come on, Sora. Hippity hoppity Easter's on its way, Sora. Come on, bro. Oh. Sora, he 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 can move too much in this game. Oh, ah! There we go. Yes, we did it. KH three movement be like. <laughs> uh, yes, I want to update my records. Oh, unless I had this one. Ah, uh, fuck it. Uh, head to the movie theater in the northeast of the town. Do I have that one? Let me see. The lore. Um, okay, Lucky Emblem in the northeast of the town. Uh, okay, I have that one. Sora took the photo. Uh, so I have to get the fifth one. Uh, neighborhood tram common. So it's made of plates on the roof of a building directly in front of the path that takes you to the old mansion. Yeah, this is so weird how there's just like this right here. Look at that. You know, I found a lucky emblem in real life. Yes. It was interesting. Let's see. D I don't know if you don't get the fuck out of the way. Man, the duck. <laughs> Roast the duck. Alright, so now we gotta go to the woods. I'm just making sure I'm not doing the ones I've already done before. Uh, so how's everybody's day? How have you guys been? Most of y'all I literally saw less than 24 hours ago. <laughs> so I know how y'all been doing. How are you guys doing? How's your day? My shit was pretty good. Slept in. Uh, ran my errands. Had a nice uh, tomato basil steak wrap. <clears throat> and I'm still fucking hungry. Every, every The day after, I always drink a lot. I'm starving. Like, no tomorrow. But it's great. It's awesome. Because I train legs tomorrow. So I get to eat a lot of stuff tonight. So, I'm thinking... I might, I might, I might end up cooking depending on how long the stream goes. If not, I'm just going to order again. No McDonald's this time. I'm going to get some wraps. Donald has to pay it back in blood. <clears throat> Which one? <laughs> Donald Taco or Donald Duck? Oh, yo. Sonic Generations, man. Sonic Shadow Generations this fall, baby. I'm actually very excited for that. Oh, no worries, man. I'm, I'm glad you had it. Clearly, you had a great birthday, man. I'm happy about that. Okay, so now we're going to the woods. Into the woods. Ooh, what's this? Is that Chinese food? Is this Chinese food? Bro, who the fuck left Chinese food up here? Damn. No, it's chocolate. It's it's chocolate. Damn. I thought it was Chinese food, man. I could go for some good Chinese food. Uh, what's what's all this here? Oh, for the ingredients, duh. Well, Corey, you know me, man. Like I go to if I want ingredients, I go to the grocery store, man. I go to Aldi's, I will go to Walmart, I go to Stop and Shop. I don't need that no Kingdom Hearts type shit. Hey, this dude. This is this guy? You remember this guy? Remember this guy? Yeah, I bet you guys remember this guy. Hainer, Pence, and Olette. No. I need to... Let's see if we can... No. Are you a buffet or a takeout kind of guy? Ah, uh, we don't really have a lot of buffets around me. Like, we have a couple, but the food's not that great. There's a really good all-you-can-eat sushi spot for 30 bucks, fresh to order. That's great. Um, But I'm, I'm definitely a takeout kind of guy. Because I have a lot of my local restaurants I like, and I just order takeout and pick up. Um, sometimes I do want to go to an all-you-can-eat buffet, though. Just fuck it all the way up, bro. Fuck it all the way up. Fuck it all the way Dog Street, yes, sir. Arby's? I don't know about that. Y'all have fun with Arby's. I'm, I'm, I'm all the way good. No Arby's over here. We have Arby's, but I'm just like, no, thank you. 
You want to explore Dog Street? Oh, I heard Corey. I heard you want to end up in the dog house. Corey, you might be ending up in the dog house if you if you don't stop messing around with all these white women, bro. And no, it's not because he's messing around with white women. He's messing around with all of the white women, and that's what I'm just like, Corey, relax. Corey is literally trying to be a fucking persona protagonist on Valentine's Day all day, every day. I've never seen a man go to so many karaoke meetings in my life. That man, Corey, is out there, bro. That man, that man taking some Persona 3 jacket drip, and then he getting all the heart emojis. I see it. I Listen, I, this is, I, I respect it. Where the fuck is the... I need to get out of here. I remember I used to take this path and then this was the this was the way to the mansion. Yeah, well remember I live in I live in New York, so uh everything is more expensive up here. Ooh. Is there anything down here in the underground conduit? No, so I can just go to the I can just go to the mansion. Oh, yes, sir. That's what's up, Corey. I'm, uh, I ain't gonna be on that Persona 3 for a hot minute, a couple months, but I really hope you enjoy it, man. It's crazy, man. Now, now they gotta remake Persona 4. I don't care. It's not about what's right, it's about what's fair. I wish they would do Persona 2, honestly, but they're never gonna remake that game the same way. If they did, I'd be like, that's some balls. Y'all got some balls to sell that story. What is this? Oh, is this when Sora was like able to swing on the trees or some shit? No, I don't want to fight you guys. Uh, okay, lucky emblem. Oh, I already have this one. Fuck me. Persona 4 Rewind. Oh, God. Don't give them any ideas, but yes. Midnight Channel Edition. Persona 4. No, honestly, Rewind is a great name for it. Fuck. It makes sense. Yo, it does. Because <laughs> Reload, Rewind, Midnight Channel, and then Royal. Because, you know, we got all these names. Nah, that's fire. So, uh, this was... So, I did... Seven, so six is right on the wood. I thought you didn't like Kingdom Hearts three. I'm I'm indifferent to it, but I have a duty and obligation for my friend to play all these data battles, which is what we are doing. Where's the? Okay, there it is. It's on the wood. There we go. Buster Band, yay! Got thirty five lucky emblems, guys. We did it. Persona four reshoot. Hey, there's another possibility. Persona two. <laughs> Persona 2, <laughs> it, you gotta make a Hitler reference. You, as fucked up as that sounds, you have to make a Hitler reference. Ah. Um, in the east side of the woods, there is a lucky emblem that is on... It's made of sunlight on a hill to the east. Okay. East? I thought you said west. That's pronounced west, Patrick. Okay, so it should be on this, uh... I don't want to fight none of these enemies, bro. Fuck you. So it should be... Nigga! Fuck you. Oh, there's Lucky Emblem. Got some hoes. Yo, Spongebob, why did I do this? Why did I, I'm just like nutting over everything. This is crazy. Look, look, could you just imagine this shit? You're going up against Xemnas and they're over here. zippity doo da, zippity day. My oh my, what a wonderful. <laughs> there we go. Got that. Now we go to the old mansion and I believe that's the last one there. Oh, I got a trophy for what? Hold on to 50 photos. Yes, sir. 
<laughs> I'm burning them afterwards, but yes, sir. Why can't I clip? <laughs> Got jumped by. Uh, yeah, I did get jumped by a shadow. That's why I had to kill him. I had to, that's why I had, to, I had to take his life, bro. Tired of that, man. All right, this should be the last one. Oh, I already. Okay, so I'm done. Oh, they turned that off completely in the data battles. Oh, yeah? Damn. My, oh, my. What a wonderful day it won't be. All right, so Twilight Town is complete. We got everything in Twilight Town. Fuck yes. Okay. So we did Twilight Town in 100 Acre Woods. We did Olympus. All right, good time, good time. Uh, Toy Box. Damn, I only got one here. Shit. Okay, let's let's go to um uh uh to you got a friend in me land. World map. Persona 2 Reich. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I like that, Jason. Reich. <laughs> and they're like, why is it called Reich? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh I really did none of this gummy shit, bro. Uh, toy box. Andy's house. I wonder if we're going to find any of his mom's playthings here. When I did play and complete this game when it came out, I was massively disappointed. I waited over 14 years for this. Yeah, man. It was a tough time. It was a tough time. It was a tough time, man. It was a tough time for us Kingdom Hearts fans. And, and every single time I bring it up, people do the side-by-side -side comparison of when I unboxed the game and then when I did my final impressions, the look on my face. And I'm sorry, that wasn't intentional. That was just the look on my face throughout the whole video. I was just like, man. <laughs> they said, they said, uh, check back for Kingdom Hearts 4. Have a nice day. All right, here we go. Look, it's Woody and Buzz. Man, look, just look how beautiful they all look, bro. All right, so let's go. <clears throat> okay, so this oh God, this world is just so cool. Look at this. Just look, bro. Look at this. Look at this detail of when you walk on the bed. Oh my God! I didn't even notice that the first time I played. Holy shit! Look at this attention to detail. Look at the look at this. This dude on the pillow too. Not really on the pillow, but look at this, bro. This is fire. What's up, Gabe? How you doing, bro? This is fire, bro. This is the best part about Kingdom Hearts 3 right here, man. Just just walking on the bed. Walking on the bed and just looking at this, man. I, I love it. Um, Is that a bucket of chicken? Oh, no, it's the soldier bucket. Oh, okay. Well, you kind of look like KFC. Damn, Chris, you're so black. Yeah. Well, I haven't had KFC in a long time, to be fair. It's been, been on more of a Popeye's kick. All right, so we got that one. Yeah, the story in this game is uh, Traga. It's Basura, bro. It's terrible. It's terrible. But the, this world... Oh, this world is amazing. Um, So now... We, okay, so we got the first one. Now we need to go on top of Andy's house. Just make sure I don't have that one. Uh, okay, I don't. KFC's gotten too expensive. Popeyes is fucking expensive, bro. I don't know how expensive KFC is for you guys, but all the everything has gotten expensive. All the fast food stuff around. Just look at this world, bro. Look at this world. Look at it. God, this game needs a next-gen patch for real, bro. Like, just imagine how much better this game would look. No, fuck the Heartless. No, I don't want to fuck the Heartless. Shit. Look at look at this shit, bro. Can I get on the roof? No, I can't climb the roof. Well, I got to go to another roof? Damn. I was trying to read this shit. Bro, $20 for an 8-piece is crazy. Man, fuck you guys. Okay, so it should be around here. Wow, ah, there it is. Let's see. 
fucking fell off this shit. Awesome. So, the next one should be you know, the front door to Andy's house. I love how we have like five allies in this shit. Look at this shit, bro. All five of us just rolling deep. Homies over hoes. Homies over hoes. Homies over, homies over, ho rocket ruckus. Fuck it. Look at this. this shit is fucking funny as hell. Look at this. Oh my god, I can't even control it. Oh! Rocket strike. Jesus. The, uh. Okay, so... Look at this fucker. Look at him. What are you doing here? Dude, I used to hate when I played Kingdom Hearts on Proud Mode when I was a kid. I used to hate fighting him. Oh my god, he was annoying with those swings. I have to guard like a motherfucker. Alright. On the leaves, you will see a green lucky emblem. Oh, okay. It's like right here. Look at this. Look, just, look at them fighting him in the distance. That's crazy. Alright, so we need to go to the car, to a van. Should be this van. There it is. Yay! So we did this, so now we're going to Galaxy Toys. Uh... I'm not doing Trinity Guard. Fuck that shit. I'm just going back to the save point. Yeah, dude, that's what I liked about this one. It was a different story, and I feel like they should have done that for all the other worlds, but I guess Pixar just gave them more leeway and freedom versus, um, uh, what's it called? The Frozen and Let It Go. Well, Frozen and Tangled, which sucks. Galaxy Toys, first floor. Yeah, back-to-back -back streams, man. We're doing the Ass Neos, and we're doing Kingdom Hearts this week. And then next week, probably news stuff, and then Kingdom Hearts. And if there's no news stuff, it'll be Ass Neo and Kingdom Hearts. Well, what's up, everybody? Thank you guys for joining us while we uh, go ahead and uh, find all the lucky emblems. All right. Uh, when you enter the store right behind the counter. Enter the store. So this is entering the store. Right behind the counter. Should be a counter. Counter over here. There it is. I love it. They're just running to fight the enemies, and I'm just like, I want to take photos, guys. Uh, Galaxy to Motherfucker! Over here. Hold on. Uh, so, nowhere there in the first floor, there's some toys stacked with the Gigas at top. You will need, you will need to find yourself a Gigas and fire at the toy stack there. Once destroyed, you can get the lucky emblem beneath it. The claw. Ooh, hey, Julian Harris. How you doing, man? Thank you, bro. Hopefully, you're doing good too. So, I need to find a Gigas. And I need to destroy it. What? What? Where the fuck do I find a Gigas again? These things? Yeah, I hope. I hope they have a lot of Disney worlds, man. I really do. Disney Worlds or some more Final Fantasy shit, bro. I don't even mind them doing like just a, another debt, like a whole dedicated Final Fantasy world. Like, fuck it. I don't care, man. You can just say it's non canon, bro. Bro, where the fuck did all these people come from? Oh my god. Yo, that's ever since you guys said that Star Wars shit, that's been on my mind. 
all friggin year they're like nah man look it's the forest moon of endor and i'm just like no it's not and they're like look at it and i was like oh my god if it's not that i'm gonna be really fucking sad i'm like Yo, it's just a random fucking forest and they, they gassed us they g'd me bro oh this thing <clears throat> all right i can control this all right Blaster, bing, 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 bing. Who says we need new Gundam games? Look at this, guys. Bing, 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 bing. I'm a tackle, tackle, motherfucker. I'm the real armored core. I need to. So it says I need to destroy something. Hold on. Yo, can you, can you like get out of my way, please? Beat the shit out of this guy. Bro, we're just beating the shit out of this guy. I'll fucking punch you, bro. I'll punch you, too. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I'm much faster to do this shit. Dude, that that would make a lot of sense if they did Clone Wars stuff. Holy, yo! But then again, like, well, they could they could they could set it during the Clone Wars. The Clone Wars is a long time, man. They could have like an adventure Obi Wan and Anakin, bro. If they somehow did that, could you imagine? Could y'all fucking imagine the impact of Clone Wars animated style in Kingdom Hearts? Fighting Count Dooku or Darth Maul. Oh my god. That would be so sick. Holy shit. Oh, how's Nugget? He's doing good. He's okay. He's, uh, you know, he's just being really, really old now. He's chilling. Very sassy in his old age, being a senior dog. Demanding food from everybody without even. He, he, he don't fuck with me like he used to. Because I'm very, I'm the only one in the family who's very stern to him. Because they're just like, oh, here, you can have this, you can have that. And then he starts demanding it and he starts getting all up in their face. Like, whenever my sister would cook something, he would literally just, like, she would be sitting down watching her shows. And he'd be, like, right up in her face like this. Like, literally up in her face like that. He's like, you want to give me some? All the time. He don't play that shit with me. Because I look at him and I'm just like, nope. You're not getting that. And then he stops fucking with me. He don't be saying hello to me when I come home. He don't be doing shit, you guys. He don't be doing shit, man. Oh, there's Lucky Emblem. You really don't be fucking with me like that. There we go. <laughs> yeah, sure, kid. Let's get shawarma. Yeah, the Marvel shit would be funny. Uh... Okay, so we did that. Hey, what's up, Shaded? What's up, Neil? Glad to see you still on the grind. Been watching you since I was a freshman. I'm 26 now. Stay hustling, big dog. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Yeah, man, we still doing the thing. YouTube, YouTube will always be my thing, bro. Like, no matter how old I get, no matter how much time passes, we just living, man. We living, we living, we staying true and authentic to who we are, and we playing and beating these games, bro. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. Yo, the the good old days of the MCU. It's crazy how a lot changed in just a, a handful of years. Okay, so we're here, we're done here. Now we can go to the vents. Okay, let's go to the vents. Okay, to the vents we go. I'm gonna go back to the save point. I'm not walking. <laughs> I had type of I'm, normally I'm that person who does like walking the extra mile, but when it comes to like game shit, if I can fast travel, I'm good. Oh, fuck that. Randomly found this stream. Hey, how's it going, blood? Well, welcome to the stream. We're playing Kingdom Hearts 3. We're grinding these lucky emblems so we can get Oathkeeper. And then do a bunch of stuff so we can go ahead and do the data battles. But welcome, welcome. How was the McDonald's last night? It, it slapped. It honestly did, guys. I wish I ordered more food because that double quarter pounder with cheese, the large fries, the nuggets, 
and the cookies. They didn't fill me up, man. I was still hungry. I was still hungry. I was like, damn, I should order something else. <laughs> hey, I'm very fat. I know. <laughs> that's why I go. To, that's why do they go to? The, that's literally why I go to the gym so much, you guys, so I can have McDonald's or anything. And I don't even eat McDonald's like that. Look at this fucking bolt. Look at this screw, man. I just named two different things. Um. You need to enter the vents area from the action figure on the second floor. Go to the vents until you... Okay. It's not here, right? Oh. No! No, not upper vents. Lower vents. No, no. How do we... No. Ah. How do we get back down there? You're scamming yourself. Go off the cheap menu and order a bunch of those double bacon burgers. <laughs> oh, man. I, I had the Uber One free delivery and I wasn't trying to pay extra for delivery. Uh, I gotta go back. Down here. Down the hole we go, guys. Down the hole we go. Yeah. All right, um. Yeah, if you stay consistent and you eat 90% clean throughout the week, one sheet meal is not going to set you back. Oh, Jesus, no. There it is. All right. Let's see where we're at. Uh, Lucky emblems. Okay. So now we go to Toy Box third floor. Fast travel to the third floor. Okay. Yeah, I don't fuck with fast food like that. If I'm going to eat out, I'm going to go to like one of my local restaurants or pubs and order food from there just because it tastes better and it's better for you. I'm not saying it's 100% healthy, but it's still better. Cause and especially because now fast food is just so much more expensive than it used to be. Like before you would justify fast food that because it was so cheap. But now when you leave out of McDonald's and you see what you're paying, you're just like, fuck, I could have gone to an actual restaurant, bro. It's crazy. Oh, well, if you work at Arby's, yeah, I mean, shit. Do you guys get, like, free employee meals, Michael? Do you get, like, one free meal per shift or at least, like, 50% off or something? Yes, Star Wars and Kingdom Hearts is a match made in heaven. I'm telling you, it could work. George Lucas writing, Tetsuya Nomura, like, they're both big brain people. Fuck yeah. There's some seats right there by the rails. Jump on the rails. Nope, I'm not fighting you. There we go. Let's see. Oh, only 10% off? Damn, bro. That's like... Bro, so if you order... Damn, that's like a dollar off. Oh, no. They doing you dirty, my guy. Yeah, yeah, Chipotle is a good place to go if you want to get bang for your buck. But you got to go. You can't just be ordering shit off the app because sometimes when they be cooking it, they just give you the lowest shit. You got to go there and see how they're cooking it yourself like, and make sure, like, hey, can I get this and that? Because sometimes they be skimping. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah. I have no complaints about my Taco Bell. My Taco Bell is pretty good. Like, whenever I go. Only t Yo, I remember when I used to work at my first job, I worked at a grocery store. And we didn't even have discounts there, guys. We had this points program where every single time you bought something, you get, like, a percentage back. It was, like, a really, really small percentage. And then the whole idea was that it, you, it's, like, points. They add up and you could redeem them for shit. But the more I thought about that, I'm just like... You you guys keep winning regardless. Because fucking hell, I still got to buy all this shit just to get to use my points. Shit was crazy, man. Only 10% off is wild. Is it 10% off everything at Walmart? Because depending on what you buy, that 10% could add up. 
They gave you a baby-sized burrito. They fucked you, bro. Damn, how how they do you dirty? Mm, toy box. I gotta go to dolls. Head inside Barbie's and Tyler dolls area. All right. Uh, look at this world. Look, just look how this world is designed, bro. It's beautiful. Barbie and toddler dolls area. Donde? Is it right over here? Like this world is huge. Oh, except food. Oh, damn. Yeah, always go in person. I mean, I'm not going front. Sometimes I do have to order on the Chipotle app, like depending on if I'm going straight to work after the gym and I just need food. So I, I don't have time to wait on a Chipotle line during lunch. But yeah, always go in person just so you can at least monitor them cooking your food. I'm not cooking your food, prepping your food. No, sorry, I'll go back. Where's the... Barbie and toddler dolls area on the this is the floor, right? Shouldn't it be in here? This is action figures. Hey, I remember this. <laughs> this is a cool Easter egg for a game that flopped. Look at this Easter egg, guys. Decidia Final Fantasy. Do you guys remember Decidia NT? That game should have been so damn good and they fucked it up, bro. They fucked it up, man. Oh, okay. I got you. I see what you're saying. I got I see it, Corey. <laughs> Corey's like, yeah, dot, dot, dot. I have it. I was so excited for it, and then I just saw how they handled it, and I was just like, of course you would, Square. This this makes a lot of sense. Okay, so here we are. Barbie and Toddler dolls. Can these enemies just like get a life, please? Um, go to the corner. Can y'all get a fucking life, please? And leave me alone. Oh, there it is. Oh, we have to angle it. Look at this. Big brain. All right, we got 45 lucky emblems. Yay. We are making good progress. <laughs> Corey's like, it has a nice steel book, but that's it. Bro, you... Okay. I might be the only person... I, did anyone ever finish Type-0 HD, or am I the only person that didn't finish it? Bro, I was so excited for that shit. I started playing it, and I was just like... Fuck. I should be more excited to finish this. <laughs> <laughs> Something changed from when they put brought it from the PSP over. Okay, Corey finished it. Like, I have like a list of these random games that I really want to finish that I just didn't. Even though I know they're probably not that great. <laughs> but I really do want to finish Hacker's Memory, man. I want to finish Digimon. Like, I loved Cyber Sleuth, and I think it was just too soon after Cyber Sleuth came out for me to play that. But I think... Even if it's just Digimon gameplay, I can run through that shit. Oh, you platinum a bit. All right, there you go. Oh, you got that Rebirth Deluxe Edition. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Toy box third floor. Let's travel over to the third floor. Do I have? I might have that one. I have that one. Yeah. Okay. Outdoors. Fast travel to the first floor of the toy store. They couldn't have, like... Damn. Motherfucker! How you have that aim, bro? Hey, look at these Target... Look at these Target shopping carts, man. Okay, guys. We have done everything here. Why the fuck is Woody looking like that? Where the fuck is Woody going? Bro, that was so weird. That was so weird, man. A shopping cart themed keyblade. That would have been hard. Damn. Put the Walmart logo on that first, though. 
Okay, so we did that. We got both of the... Okay, so we're done, done, done. Alright. We did that. Let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five. Five to go. So let's do Kingdom of Corona. Since we already have three of them here. We're, but we're making very good time tonight. Yeah, this this world definitely as far as like the creative side of things, it's very well done. We're gonna save this just in case. We're playing on proud. We're not doing critical. Um okay, world map. Yes. Uh, embark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. It is called Kingdom of Corona. That is right. Because I was wondering why someone said Rox just said COVID. And I was just like, why is he saying COVID? And I was like, oh, that's why. <laughs> Kingdom of Corona. That Could you imagine if this game released a year later into the pandemic? Kingdom of Corona. Hey, yo. <clears throat> Oh no, I'm not doing no critical playthrough, bro. I'm I'm gonna do the data battles, and we're gonna call it a night. We're gonna call it a uh, uh we're gonna close this chapter on Kingdom Hearts three. <laughs> Check out the accessories you get from the Lucky Emblems. Yeah, I saw I saw I I got a a bunch of stuff, right? Like Buster Band Plus. Oh wow! All right. Let's see what else I got. I got a ribbon. Oh shit! Damn, that's actually really good. That's actually really fucking good. Mmm. Mmm. With that, yes, sir. I just increased all my AP. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, dude. Oh, just you, you know what? This gives me flashbacks of um, E3 2015 when they first, I think that's when they first showed off the Tangled World, I believe. Might have been around that time. And I, you just see this in the Kingdom Hearts 3 style. It's just like, bro, holy shit. They did that. They fucking did that. Like I said, the. The art direction in this game is the best in the series, man. <sighs> so good. Do you think if Kingdom Hearts 3 released during COVID would have been more negatively or positively affected? Um, I feel people would have been more appreciative of it just because of, you know, the state of the world we're in. But I don't think it would be, you know, reviewed that much better. It might get, like, a little bit more positive buzz, but not that much all right where is this where is this lucky emblem oh yeah roy Connolly, dude i remember that shit roy Connolly. he did as did look like xanort he really looked like master xanort look to the left of it at the waterfall there it is wow no, Sora. Do not. Don't you dare. So Sora. Sora, if you don't sit in one place. We do I have to gently tap on the analog stick. Okay. So we did this. Oh, fuck. I don't know why. So we have the second one and we have the third one. So now we have to go to the fourth one. Right before entering the kingdom, look at the right side of the bridge at the wall. Okay, so we got to go to the forest. Okay. Forest, 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 Whitaker. Could you imagine if there was fall damage in this game?
It's kind of weird in hindsight. They had Roy Connolly announce both Tangled and Big Hero 6, but didn't do the same with the producers of the other movies. Oh, that is true. Probably because they're just like, nah. <laughs> um... Yeah, the fall damage with this game would go crazy. Reminds me of like Spider-Man 2. I'm going to die. Miss the quick time prompt. There we go. Oh, Flynn Rider! What is up, Zachary Levi, when you're not having a freaking meltdown over superhero movies? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. There's a lot of things I would have changed about KH3. Uh, okay, we did all this. So let's get that indicator off there. One, two, three, four. Five. Uh, okay, we're gonna go to five. We have to go back there. Go straight upon entering kingdom. Look to the left side of the archway. All right. Yo, that's some dumb shit, bro. They're finally realizing now that Kingdom Hearts, there's money to be made. Which is why they're starting to put it in different, um, you know, IPs and letting people make merch of it. Like, bro, you're telling people, you're telling Square Enix fans that they do not spend money on merchandise. That is fucking hilarious to me. You know how long it took us to get, like, an actual prop keyblade? <laughs> My god, it took almost 20 years. Oh, fuck. No. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing the uh, Lucky Emblem grind, man. We did um, Olympus Coliseum last week after we leveled up to 99. We finished Twilight Town, uh, 100 Acre Wood, uh, Toy Box, and we're going to finish this one tonight. If you can make money off of a game called Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue, your IP might have a cult following. No, that's a fact. That's absolutely... A Look at this guy. He's so stoic just sitting up there. Um, It's a fact, bro. Why are they two of the same NPCs? Uh-oh. This might be some drama. She might be dating him, but then she might also be dating him. They're going to fight. Meow. Uh, okay, it should be around here somewhere. I bet we'll find some ingredients around there. It is. Let's see. My man lacrosse faded. Jesus. What's up, Neo? One of the most stressful things to do in this game is actually it's not that bad, J Mac. It's very it's it's relaxing when we chilling, bro. Oh, you like dancing? You like dancing with the with the NPCs? Hmm. Uh Okay, what else do I need? Which ones do I also have? So I have Okay, I have the next one. So I have six. So I have to get seven. Kingdom Wharf. Head to the wharf and look for the short circular tower. Wait, let me, just so I don't have to keep checking back about which ones I have and I don't. Okay, so the next three I do not have. Okay. okay. Yeah, I, I, they they really need to put Sora in Fortnite. That'd be fucking hilarious, but you know Disney with the branding. <laughs> That's the last thing they do. It's like, oh, you have the, the kingdom key here, and he's got a fully loaded assault rifle. But, man, at this point, like, Fortnite's primary audience is kids, man. They don't give a fuck. But, you know, Disney with the brand and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Head to the wharf. So it should be this thing here, right? There we go. Let's see. Hi, sir. Can you? Okay. That yeah. that did nothing. <laughs> uh... Let 
Yeah, got a wisdom ring. Um. Hmm. Interesting. There's no black people in this world. Very interesting. <laughs> um. So it should be next to. I'm doing this a little out of order, but I came here first, so. Let's see. Yes. Okay. Dude, I'm saying, like, we need a fucking multiplayer Kingdom Hearts game, but I just don't trust Square. I unfortunately do not trust Square to make that. Maybe the old square, yeah, but not the new one. But we'll see, man. We'll see how Foam Stars does. If Foam Stars does good, might convince them. But if Foam Stars dies in two months, I don't think we're getting one. How long has Kino been out now? Well, if we're talking about Kingdom Hearts 2, that is about to celebrate its um, 18th anniversary this December. No, wait, no, I think it actually already did. No, it's going to be... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Came out in 2005, right? 20? No, it's about to be 19. Oh my god. Fuck. Damn, Kingdom Hearts 2 is about to be 19. Holy. That is absolutely insane to me. I mean, it's at the end of the year, obviously, but still. Where's this last one? Is it really your turn to be the hero today? Oh, there's a PC mod for multiplayer? That's nice. I believe it. PC PC gamers, they be they be doing the coolest shit. Alright, I think I think we're I think we're done here. Yeah, I think we're done here, you guys. Yeah, we did it all. Nice. Okay. Mm. Okay, so we'll do, we'll do Monstropolis. I was about to say Monstro. <laughs> we'll do Monstropolis, and then we'll call it a night. And then we'll just finish up these three next time. Come, Guardian. All right, so world map we go. Mm. Ah. Oh, man. Oh. oh, Jesus. Mm. Okay. Mm. So we're going to the laugh floor. Man, now I really want to rewatch Monsters Inc. What do you guys think is the best Pixar movie? Like, obviously, I love The Incredibles. I think, I think it'll always be The Incredibles for me, just because I'm a big superhero nerd. So I love that. But at the same time, hmm. At the same time, man, like, same time, the first Toy Story. Toy Story 3. And I love Toy Story 2. It's just not as much as the other ones. Toy Story 3 was great. <laughs> Up. Up is really good. Everyone's saying The Incredibles, yeah. Incredibles, yes sir. Not The Incredibles 2. Coco is awesome. Dude, Bugs Life is one of those things you can't really... Like, it's so sick. That movie is great, but for... 
You can't market it because you want to know why that's too serious, that movie. That, that movie talks about some serious shit, bro. Head to the laugh floor. Bro, that first beat, the, the speech he made saying that, like, you give these ants hope and then they stay out of line or whatever. I was like, what the fuck? That's why they need to be stomped down. I was like, Whoa. bro, that is just sick. Uh, Let's see. Oh, yeah, your boy Neo. Your boy Neo is single. I've been living the single life for uh, a couple months now. Um, okay, so go here. Look at the papers on the desk. Okay. Oh, God, dude, this is just fucking nostalgia here. Seventh desk. Okay, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Well, I bet you there's a lucky emblem here. I bet. <laughs> He's like, they ran out of time. They've had 14 years. <laughs> yeah. But they didn't really start working. I mean, they were, man, they just, well, I'm not getting into this shit. I want to make myself angry again. Um,. So, on the left floor, go back to the entrance. Move the clown. Okay. Enough with the clown. Yeah, man. You know, but... Hey, it's one, it's one of those things, bro, where... I mean, you guys have all been in relationships before. You know how it goes. You know? Relationships take a... <laughs> Damn. He's fighting the shit out of that thing. No, don't you dare come back on here. Um, relationships, they take work. They take two people to work. And if one person is doing all the heavy lifting and the other person is not trying to do that, it's just not sufficient. That's a very, very loose way of me explaining it to you guys without getting into like the, the full details. But, you know, it's, it's the same stuff I always tell you guys. Always stick to your guns, your values, your morals, and... If someone is not coming into a scenario healed and they try to throw that on you, it's not cool. Especially the older you get. Uh, the door vault upper level. Go to the safe point, the door vault. Okay. Dude, a Cars ride has an hour to hour wait. I mean, that's the thing, bro. Everyone hates the Cars movies, but that shit makes money for Disney. That's why they keep making them. They don't care about how the reviews... The Cars movies could get a 9% on Rotten Tomatoes for all we care. But that thing, the merchandise alone... ka -chow! I mean, I heard Gabe did see Cars 2 in theaters, and he was the originator of the baked beans meme. Because he was in there eating fucking me beans. Yeah, Sora is very, like, floaty in this game. Like, the way he'd be moving, I'm just like, Sora, relax. He'd just be gliding the fuck. The other Soras had, like, more weight to them. This one is just like, go. Well, to be fair, this Sora has to make up for the fact that we've been waiting 15 years. So he has to be like, go, 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 go. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> okay. Um, Take the railing here. The railing. Oh, you fucker. See, I'm, I'm paying attention to this shit. I'm not... Bro, I'm trying to look at the chat and look at this shit. This is just like the movie, guys! Jesus.
Yeah, I'll, I'll check out. Whenever I go to Disneyland, I'll check out the, the Cars ride. If I see a Cars World in Kingdom Hearts 4, I'm coming after the employee who thought that shit was a good idea. Well, they make a lot of money, my friend. They make a lot of money, so, you know. We could see Sora. You don't want to see Sora as a cow? As a cow? As a cow? As a car? You don't want to see that? You, you get some Steamboat Willie flashbacks? Oh, did I just... Oh, here it is. You don't want to hear oh, Sora hanging out with Owen Wilson? Ka-chow! Cora, you, you might... I already have this one. Cora, you might just not like fun, bro. I didn't even get this treasure chest. Wow. A Thunder Cufflink. Goofy would be a bus. Donald would be a... <laughs> be a Volkswagen. Sora would be a Corvette. I can see Sora as a Corvette. That's definitely... I, I can canonize that. I'll have that in my head canon. Fuck no, I don't want to see Sora as a car. Alright. Would you rather see Sora as a car? Or never get Kingdom Hearts 4? Mmm. Think about that. And the world is not skippable. You have to play it. You have to play it. Sora would be a Tesla? Oh, God. You got a save point. Um, fuck, I need to get to a save point, dude. So, fast travel to the factory basement. From there, turn right, go through the white door, continue. Okay. Shut up, Donald. I guess Kingdom Hearts concluded at Kingdom Hearts 3, then. You really not trying to play a sore as a Corvette. A nice red Corvette. You told me that's not fire to you, bro. Talk about vroom vroom. What if, what if, what if all the women wanted that, bro? Corey's gonna say, that. I'm gay then, bro. <laughs> Neo, are you hungover from yesterday? No, I'm doing pretty good, man. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. So fast travels to the basement from there, turn right, go through the white door. Continue down the wall, there was into the brown door all the way on the left. I'm about to get some bomb head in that Corvette. Hey, yo, you trying to get... You trying to get head in a Sora Corvette? Yo, this man is the true Kingdom Hearts fan. Holy shit. This guy. Hold on. In the green wall. Where the fuck is the Mickey symbol? Oh, here. Hey, look, it's a flan. Look at this big... No, no. No, no. Yes, yes. Look, it's a flan right here, guys. Now, how did we fight this thing? We had to do what it wanted, right? Or whatever. Dodge his attacks and take out the smaller flan. Oh, fuck. He got me. Damn, I didn't even know he just does that. Jesus. I'll come back to these flans later. Hey, what's up, Matt? How you doing? 
No, I didn't leave you hanging, bro. I just don't be signing into Discord. Uh, I'll only sign into Discord when I'm on my desktop and usually when I'm streaming. Oh, man. But how you doing, bro? Shit. How's everything, man? Yeah, I should have... <laughs> Damn. I'll check my Discord DMs in a sec. Would you ever play the PC mods? If there's some crazy PC mods, yeah. We, we might get down with that shit. And now we gotta go to the factory ground floor. Uh, Let's go back. There's the door. There's a door. There's always a door. There's always a lighthouse. Now I want some dessert, shit. This door should take us right back to the lab floor. Yeah, we're definitely going to do all the flans later. Okay, so the fifth one, I have the sixth one. Oh, you made some of those PC mods? Oh shit, okay, man. I see you, bro. Yo, yo, y'all put the original Ansem voice? Fire, fire. Nah, that's crazy, bro. Holy shit. I know you got down like that, bro. Yes, sir. Come a long way from faking those Kingdom Hearts PSP videos. You remember that? Oh, man. Dude, I'm telling you. The wait for Birth by Sleep was so excruciating that we just had to imagine us playing that shit on a PSP. Mmm! I know y'all remember those days. Portable Kingdom Hearts. So fast travel to the ground floor. <laughs> nah, listen, I remember that shit, bro. I remember I was looking for all types of Birth by Sleep stuff, and then I saw this dude playing Birth by Sleep on the PSP. I was just like, holy shit. That man said, nah, fam, this is a YouTube video. I was like, what the fuck? Why would you troll me like that? He's like, nah, man. <laughs> then I found out I knew this dude. <laughs> I found out I knew this dude. He lived in the next city over. <laughs> what are the fucking odds, bro? What are the fucking odds? What are the odds? What are your thoughts on the new PlayStation Portal Hardware League? Yeah, apparently there's this rumor going around that PlayStation might be doing another um, dedicated handheld. Which, if they are, please, I need that. I need that. I need Xbox and PlayStation to do it. I know Xbox is kind of cheating because if you have the ROG ally, you're basically good. But no, I want a dedicated one. I want all my Xbox games. Um... Okay, so I have this one. No, that's the sixth one. Wait. Fast travel to the ground floor. Follow the path until you reach the stairs on the right. So I have this one here. Well, yeah, you don't need an Xbox if you have a PC. But I want an Xbox dedicated handheld device. That's what I need. Where it's just like, okay, you can play all your Xbox library seamlessly. And it transfers over. As opposed to just being limited to just like the Game Pass stuff, you know? Or just Xbox Play Anywhere. Yeah, I don't fuck with the I don't fuck with the portal. I don't I don't fuck with anything streaming. Is this a countdown stream to Persona 3 reload? No 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 no, it's not. We're not doing that. We're not playing Persona 3 reload. I'm not getting to Persona 3 reload optimistically until March, you guys. Hey, that would be sick. That would be sick, man. I can't wait to see that when it comes out. Yo, yeah, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, y'all. You better get your uh, SSDs ready and primed, because that shit is 145 gigs. Yes, sir. Delete your games, my friends. Uh, okay, I, gotta, I, I keep prolonging this. My God. No, wait. I already, I already got the Lucky Emblem. Wait. Did I? See, now I'm forgetting. Okay, I got this one, I got that one. I got that one, now I gotta go to the second floor. Okay. 
Hey, what's up, Guzman? How you doing, bro? That was everything. We're over here, you know, just doing our thing. Man, look at me fucking flying around here. Straight gliding in the pussy. In the pussy. In the ghetto. I'm going to replicate all the cutscenes, too, and I was planning to either record and edit my own personal Xehanort clips or use AI. Oh, shit. Yeah, Bond Bond was not a fan of the um the Final Fantasy VII remake ending. And he's just like, I need to just do a panel with people and talk about it. And I said, I'm down with that Bond, but we gotta wait until at least Rebirth drops to see how they go in more with the story. Need to find a save point, bro. I don't know why I'm just going fucking backwards. Oh my god. Why is it so much memory? Um, because of Tifa. Tifa and all her outfits. That's why it's so much memory. And I'm down with that shit, bro. Because the more Tifa outfits, the better. That's what y'all need to understand. Because Tifa is a queen amongst the mortals. Mm. No, I'm missing one more. You know, we have you guys to say. Well, the yellow elevator near the factory ground floor. Go up the elevator next to the save point. Follow the path past the yellow staircase. Tifa's double D's are why the game is two disc. Yes, sir. That's my girl right there. Love Tifa. Yeah, but we're getting to the point now where single player games can be upwards of almost 200 gigs, guys. That's crazy. Wait, hold on. Follow the path where you must turn the conveyor belt. It's okay, so it's right there. All right. So technically speaking, I was kind of going the right way. Just didn't look. Here it is. Nice. So now I need to go to the access point. Hello. Dude, do you guys remember on the PS3 if a game had like a five gigabyte download or whatever it would take hours do you remember how that shit used to be back in the day guys holy fuck i remember when i downloaded like the dc universe online beta bro i had to leave that thing downloading overnight while i went to sleep and i woke up and that shit still wasn't done and that shit was only a couple of gigabytes bro and man remember ps3 downloads back in the day you had to wait and watch that shit download and install bro it was a tough time man Yeah, honestly, I'm not going to get a new SSD for any of my systems. Because I, I I look at it like this. like Unless I need to have all the games on my hard drive, I just be deleting shit. You know, I don't play Call of Duty or any of these other games that are titles that I'd always play. Like multiplayer stuff. So, on my hard drive. Uh, uh, like Now, I only put the games I'm playing on my hard drive these days. And they're not that crazy in size. <clears throat> so I'll never like run out of space and honestly it helps keep you it helps keep me honest because well, how am I gonna fucking look having Persona 3 Reload, Persona 5 Royal um, 
like a dragon infinite wealth resident evil 4 remake like all these fucking games on the hard drive and i realistically am only playing one so i'll have maybe five max if that if like let's say i was like on my playstation i'll have a game i'm streaming kingdom hearts and then i'll have other games that i'm playing that i'm going through but to me it makes no sense to have all these other games downloaded like I said, unless like you play Call of Duty or Apex or Fortnite and you always have those games because you always play them, then yeah, you know, or if you have an Xbox Series S, yeah, you're going to need more storage. But as it stands, man, I just, man, I just delete shit. PC, it's different. I'll always have multiple hard drives and stall state drives and all that shit. Where's Lucky Emblem? It's up here somewhere. Where is this? Oh, there it is. Let's see. I'll help you find the next one. Yeah, yeah, I'm still in New York, bro. I'm still in New York. You were there for Christmas? Damn, you were there for Christmas. You didn't even say hi, man. I see how it is, bro. I see how it is, man. This man's got 98 nine tails, and I guess I'm not one of them. <laughs> where are you at now, man? Where are you? Where are you in like DC, Washington? I, I don't remember. I know you. I know you said it. But I can't recall. Oh, you're in the Hudson Valley. Matt, yeah, I know. Matt, we're not that far away. We're not that far away, bro. Hudson Valley is like an hour-ish up north from where I live. Yeah, Matt, we got Matt, we got to hang out at some point, dude. I know how you were going to like Broadway's and shit. I was like, oh, snap. Um... Okay, upon exiting the corridor... Oh, Poughkeepsie? Yeah, yeah. You're like a solid like hour-ish, like hour and a half away from where I live if I drive. Oh, you're in Texas? Hey, nice, bro. What part of Texas? Yeah, I'd be going out to Texas sometimes, man. Dallas, San Antonio. Yeah, yeah, Matt, yeah. Yeah, New York, New York City is hell expensive. I don't live in the city. But it's a very expensive state. When you start getting a little upstate, it's it's, it's a little cheaper. But anything south? Ugh. Like California type shit. Okay, where the... Hold on. Uh, keep going until you made it outside. Inside, then outside again. Oh, God. Jesus. I have to go all the way? Yeah, that's the benefit of it. You just get on a train and you chillin' and you go. Oh, there it is. Let's see. Okay, let's see. All right, we got two more left, guys. Okay, uh, tank yard. Keep going forward until you reach. Supposed to jump down here. Right next to the safe point, okay. Oh, that's awesome. I appreciate that, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to plan a Texas trip this year. Texas, Colorado, a couple different places. Um, and, and one of my boys, he lives in the, the DFW area. So, yeah, if I come through, man, we got to chill. Holy shit. Fucking reunion after... After, like, what? Almost 15 years? Jesus, bro. We used to go be just thoughts reminiscing. Hey, you remember that one time? Yeah, man, I remember that shit. 
That's what's up, bro. That's awesome. Holy shit, man. All the homies. All the homies, man. Yeah, dude. Honestly, like whenever people come up here for Comic Con or any conventions, they they always ask like, "Oh, you know, where can I stay?" I'm looking at hotels in the city. I'm like, "Bro, if you're looking at shit in the city, you're spending over a thousand dollars on hotels just for a couple of days, bro. It is not worth it. Like, it's crazy, man. Dude, the Yu-Gi-Oh days, bro. I remember like one of my fondest memories was um after. After school, it was you, me, and uh, Kwame. You remember Kwame, right? You, me, and Kwame. We went to Chicken Joe's. And then we walked from Chicken Joe's all the way to the bus stop. And we took the bus to your house. And then we were chilling. We were just playing random shit. We were playing that Watchmen game on PS3. We were we were watching. I think we watched a little bit of anime. We were watching some YouTube Man, those are the days, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, that's a real fucking throwback, man. Kwame, he did the videos, the clown around, clown on town or some shit like that. Yo, these are unlocking core memories right now, bro. Core memories. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, keep going forward until you hit the dead end. All right, let's see. Fuck, man. I gotta stop talking about food, you guys. Every time I talk about food on stream, I'm so fucking hungry. I gotta stop doing this. Alright, but we have two more of these, and then we're done. Yeah, dude, it's been a long time, because I remember we were, because, you know, this is, like, right before, I think this is, like, the cusp of social media booming. Like, we were cool, we were friends on Facebook, and I think I didn't see you much on Facebook, and then after that, I don't know, I don't think I had, like, your your exact number, or I changed my number, or, or whatever, and then we just lost touch, and I was just like, damn, where's Matt, bro? And then what are the fucking odds? What are the fucking odds? That's why I'm so glad I still do this YouTube shit, bro. Because, yeah, it's like, hey, man, how you doing? I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> Same avatar, too, bro. Same avatar. Oh, I need to watch that podcast, Matt. I got to watch that podcast. The four kids flashback. Talk about the memories. Bro, I remember the wildest things from 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 random years. That's why I always tell people like the shit that makes an impact, bro. You just don't forget it. Uh, climb the blue crates uh, in this room behind the only agent. Jump to a platform above, and you'll see it made of pipes. Blue crates. These are barrels. Oh, there's the blue crates. Okay. Hold on. Jump on the platform, turn to the right. Ah, there's the platform. And then look at this. We found it. Fuck yeah, guys. We got an Ori Calcum ring. Awesome. Now we do the last one. From the door vault service area safe point. Okay, let's do this. Do you think you'll do more gaming streams? Yo, I'm not going front. I think after we do this Kingdom Hearts stuff, I'll take a break for a bit. But we might start streaming some games, man. I might pick a game from my backlog that I haven't played. A short game, like 8 to 10 hours, something something light. And we might do streams of that. Or there'll be like a fun game in the community that we can all play. Like that, what's that? That, that 33-something game that's coming out? That shit looks crazy. That'll be a nice multiplayer game. But I feel like I, I might, like, for the games that I want to play that I don't mind streaming them, I, I might just start doing them on streams, man. 
Hell yeah, bro. You just you see, like those OG like bro. I still got my old email addresses, like my Xbox gamer tag and my PlayStation ID. I have not changed those. I'm keeping them the same way, man. Keeping them the same way. I'm like, yep, I made that account when I was 15 years old. What of it, man? Oh, okay. Yeah, because I remember you went into the Marines. I remember that's what it was. How long were you in the Marines for? Was that McDonald's any good yesterday? It was solid, but I should have ordered more, man. I was still hungry. Uh, Okay, service area. Go east down the dark corridor. That's frightening. It's not east. Is this east? I mean... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Matt, if anything, after this, I'm going to text you my number in Discord. And uh, we'll keep in touch that way because it's, it's much, much more convenient than just me signing on Discord. Because whenever I sign on Discord, I just get all the notifications from all the servers and shit. Um, so, go here. Take the left. Oh, look, it's an agent. Hello. Ah, there it is. Yes. Oh. Nice. Yeah, pizza is always the best bang for your buck if you're ordering a lot of food. But I've been using the Uber Eats app, so I get a lot of, like, buy one, get one freeze from certain places. And I'd be abusing the shit out of that. <laughs> yes, sir. But nothing will ever compare to Uber Eats when they kept throwing the three, the three coupons where you get 50% off an entree or an appetizer. I would be killing that shit, bro. I would get my main entree for like 16, 17, 18 bucks. I get an appetizer, usually wings, for basically like five bucks. And then with tip and everything delivery, it was $30. With tip and delivery, 30 bucks, appetizer and entree, bro. If I was going to try to do that shit normally now because everything's got more expensive, I'm looking at like close to 50 bucks, bro. Shit is crazy. Um, okay, so we, guys, we did it. We fucking, we did our thing today, bro. We got all of Twilight Town, all of Toy Box, all of Kingdom of Corona, all of 100 Acre Wood, and Monstropolis. We did everything in a solid little over an hour. That's, that's, that's fantastic. When have you ever seen Neo be this productive, guys? So on the next stream, we'll finish up, uh, Arendelle, that's Frozen, and then San Francisco and the Caribbean. So, yeah, man, we, we, we doing the thing, bro. We doing the thing. Your boy Neil be staying so consistent. So, before we go, though, what am I going to have for dinner tonight? So, here's the thing. I could keep it healthy. I've got my ground turkey, and I got rice, so I could keep it healthy with my gym shit and everything. Or, from my local bar, they're doing this deal where it's buy one, get one free, on this turkey wrap that comes with fries. And it's a pretty damn good turkey wrap, bro. It's turkey, cheese, bacon, lettuce, tomato, mayo, fries. And it's buy one, get one free. And so you're basically spending 22 bucks and you get two wraps and fries, right? Then there's also pizza. I could do pizza, but pizza, mm, I don't know. I don't fucking know. B-dubs, boneless Thursdays. But boneless wings though, Jason, I don't know. I like my bone and wings, my friend. I like my bone and wings. Hey, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually, before I forget, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shoot you that text right now. Um, I'm thinking I might get that deal, bro. I might get that deal, bro. I might get that wrap with fries. Because then I, if I place the order now, by the time I finish streaming, I'll put on my shoes and I'll be good to go. Uh, hollow. Here we go. All right. I'm about to shoot you a text. Damn, you still got the the OG area code. Yes, sir. Oh, but I bet whenever you're down in Texas, you got to give your number. They're like, where is this from? <laughs> uh, all right. I just shot you a text, bro crazy um 
Yeah. Dude, wait, what sounds fire? I, I missed it. I'm just looking at the chat now. I'm, I might get that rap, guys. I might get that rap. Might have to do it. I mean, I already had a wrap today. I had a steak wrap, and it was good. But I might just, like, come on now. Come on now. Because if I go downstairs, uh, this is first world problems, I know. If I go downstairs right now, I got to heat, preheat the pan. I got to cook the turkey. I got to make the rice. And it's not that long. It really isn't. But I feel like I should get the wrap. Because I'll get the wrap, and I'll put on a movie, and I'll just relax. Hella late for dinner tonight. Oh, I always have dinner late, Maddie. I always have dinner late because, you know... When I get off work at my other job, I'm usually home by like 11-ish. So I'm always having late dinners. So I'm used to that. And then whenever I stream, I always eat a late dinner. Like, honestly, like, I stop eating around like 11, 12. <coughs> That's basically me. <laughs> so I might get that wrap, you guys. I might, I might, I might have to... Ooh, and they got buy one, get one free churro donuts. But it doesn't come with ice cream. I pay extra for the ice cream. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that, man. Jesus. We need a cooking stream. We might. We might be down with that. <laughs> Put the camera up in the kitchen. All right, guys. What are we making tonight? We're making some steak. Make some steak, some sauteed potatoes. Ew. That wrap. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm going to get that wrap. It's turkey, cheese, bacon, lettuce, tomato, mayo. And you get two of them. So it's buy one, get one free. Mmm. Yo, I'm going to have to do it, guys. I'm going to have to get that wrap, guys. Yeah, I'm going to get the wrap. <laughs> get the wrap. I'm going to go pick it up because literally the bar is like five minutes away from my house. Not even. Not even that far, that far away. I'll just put on my shoes and I'll go. Because if I were to have this shit delivered, the, the, the taxes and the other fees they charge is $8. I'm not doing that shit. I'm going to get in my car and I'm going to go. If I pick it up, it's 22. I'm doing that. Fuck that. I'm going to get that shit. All right. Let me place the order right now. Do they have Chick-fil-A by you? So they just built a Chick-fil-A. It's about 20 minutes from me. And now they're building one that's 15 minutes away. So we got Chick-fil-A's coming here. We have some in the city, but I don't live in the city. So, you know, it's not easy for me to go there. Um, or at least go with the intent of just having Chick-fil-A. You know what I'm saying? But now we're going to have one that's really close by. All right. Okay, I'm ordering the wraps. I'm getting the wraps, guys. Yes, sir. Should be ready in 15 minutes. Okay. Have you had canes before? No, guys. <laughs> we're gonna do another. We're, we're gonna do a dedicated like fast food stream one of these days. Just r like talking about all the fucking fast food and spots we've had before. But before that, your boy Chris, your boy Neo, has got to go get himself his wraps because your boy is starving and I'm ready to go. But First things first. Well, second thing. Uh, I want to thank you guys for coming through to another fantastic Kingdom Hearts stream. The most productive stream we've had with no issues whatsoever. That is a record for us because the last couple ones, we always started the streams with problems. But no issues tonight. Uh, we did a lot of progress. We got through one, two, three, four, five of these worlds. Got all the lucky emblems. The next one, we'll be able to do all three of those. And then, depending on what we need to do, we'll probably try to do the flan challenges and get ourselves prepped for that data battle <laughs> uh he said we got to have the community be in that fast food stream yo we really gotta we one of these days i'm gonna do like an ask neo live where we're just like out and about and we're just like eating food having drinks and it's just like hey what up y'all <laughs> i think that'd be fucking funny as hell eat up my boy get those gains yes you know we gotta fuel the gains so we got a deadlift tomorrow so you know we need all the food um but yeah, y'all, appreciate y'all tuning into the stream. Uh, if you haven't done so by now, hit the like button. Helps out the channel tremendously. And we will be back next week for some form of stream. I'm going to say that because I don't want to guarantee it's always going to be the new streams because, you know, it goes based off of, well, if there's anything interesting I want to talk about. Um, but yeah, if there's no news, we'll do another Ask Neo and we'll chill and we'll vibe. And of course, we're going to do Kingdom Hearts 3 on the very next day. So... You guys enjoy the rest of your evenings, your mornings, your afternoons, play a lot of great games, eat a lot of great food, have a lot of great sex, 
And for me to for now, my name is NGS signing off. And like always, I will catch you guys later. Peace out, y'all. Have a good one.